Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatograft Repressurize for Minecraft 115. Today we are going to do some disenchanting. We're going to make a vacuum bump and we're going to have a look at enchanting mystic, uh, mystical agriculture tools and weapons. It's not so straightforward as you would think. Uh, we're also going to maybe have a look, if we've still got time, at the program we wrote last time to build and grind, well actually to build the wither up. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually make the vacuum pump. Now the vacuum pump is f this one, like this. It's not too complicated. It's got two turbines and two pressure gauges and some pressure tubes and some reinforced slabs. I've got all the bits ready for that one. So we'll go and, we'll go and build this. Actually, I need to build another pressure chamber because this one's going to use a vacuum as opposed to being pressure so I think I've got almost all we need except for the hopper version of this um, the interfaces which make the interfaces up pressure chamber interface so let's, let's I'm going to build that over here I've been flattening out a nice large area over here as you can see and <laughs> basically knocked down all those hills so it stops mob spawning so much so anyway let's get started with this <clears throat> I'm going to put the vacuum start with the vacuum and um, the chamber I need to build the chamber first of all so let's just put I want to put the pressure on, on the bottom of this uh, now to do this I want this to hold to be upwards so I'm just going to go and do it like that <laughs> that easy so then I'm going to put down the, the base which we're only I'm only ever going to I think I'm only ever going to build three by three by three uh, pressure chambers I'm not sure that there's any need to build anymore and you have to press shift to get the rest of these on here like this that's just Put the chamber build the chamber like this i'll leave this bit so we can do it i'm going to get the um so we can get in and out easily actually i can jump in and out anyway so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put the, the interfaces down and we always do that so i think i would like it to go from this side outwards yes that'll be fine so we'll start from the side you want to go out out which is that one and this oops wrong wrong bit just break that one I've been, you'll notice my pickups are a little bit sad at the moment because I've been building, um, uh, flattening that area behind us. So we want that one and that one like that. And then we're just going to put glass in the remaining three places so we can actually have a look and see what's going on. So one's up there like this. And we can actually reach all of these. So I've got four pressure crosses because you can make one, four, or I think that's probably about it actually. Let's put it down there and here. Before we do this one, let's finish off this this bit here and when we put this one in glass in here you will see it'll form as you can see so this is the output side so on the output side I'm going to take a chest and I'm going to put the chest into that so let's get the chest out oops not redstone torches just shift click those out for easiest isn't it so I'm going to put a chest in here and I'm on the input side I'm going to put a the usual I'm going to just put a hopper in there omnidirectional hopper oops try again it doesn't work with a chest oops didn't mean to do that <laughs> too aggressive this pickaxe do you know I didn't think about it doing underneath anyway it's night time I'll have a quick sleep and repair this at the same time see you in a second so that's filled in I've repaired the hole for this by the way so I need to put some pipes down here so let's just put the pipes into this place so I should be able to just click them into place like this and you can see this is where they're going to we're going to be putting the pump around about here but first I'd like the vacuum chamber to be for example it doesn't really matter that much let's put it in the middle here like this yes that's probably a good place let's just remove this one like that and then put into this the vacuum uh, pump now the vacuum pump is directional you have to place it in the right direction and I think when I place it like this, it'll be the negative side should be that side and the positive side should be here. So this is what that means is this is going to produce a vacuum and this is going to require pressure. It's as simple as that really. So now I'm going to just put down the um, the pressure chamber which I've got here in here prepared. We need some fuel of course and I would like to also make sure it's safe so it doesn't blow up. Anything blow up for that matter. So we're going to put the pump I think I need to be back one, yes, I'll, <laughs> I'll be back one, it's actually got some pressure in already from when we were doing the last uh, drilling for oil, so let's just fill this in like that, like that, 
So that's then prepared. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put on here the, a pressure gauge, pressure tube module gauge. So we'll put it on like this. And then I'm also going to put onto this the advanced pressure tube, just as we've done all the time before. And we'll set this to say 4.5 bar. So when it's greater than 4.5 bar, it's going to emit a redstone signal, which we are then going to use to pump into this thing here. So I need to, <laughs> I need to remove the, I need to always forget to do this. I need to remove that. And then we'll put down two pieces of pipe here and here. Like that. And then we'll put two redstone modules on those. Um, we need to do that before we, of course, connect, put back this. So I'll put one there and one here. This one needs to be in receiving mode, so right click it, again like that, so that's the receiver, that's the emitter, and so we can then put the pressure um, chamber, the compressor here, like that. And then we just set this to having, requiring a, a low signal, because as soon as that goes high this is going to go off. We could reverse it of course, but it's no big deal. So now I just need some fuel. Like that, it's already got. You'll make have notice it's already got a security upgrade. But just to be on the safe side, we're going to put another security tube module just on top of here, as I always do as it happens. Um, I always put one of those on just in, just to be on the safe side. Now this is going to start to produce pressure, as you can see. It's now five point five six bar. So while that's doing that, I'm just going to go and get some items. Um, in fact, when to actually enchant or disenchant. Now, strange enough, fishing rods, because I've been fishing, I've actually got some good enchants on them. Mainly things like um, mending. So let's have a look down. Unbreaking and mending are the ones we're going to get out of here. So let's have a look. What have we got here? Unbreaking three. That wouldn't be bad. We'll take that one. And I think there's actually one of these. Is this one. Look. Unbreaking three and mending, so that's a very good one. So this one's just unbreaking three and mending. So that would actually be better. That's got curse of vanishing as well. Now we could get rid of that curse of vanishing doing this. So we'll have a go at doing that as well. So the next thing we need is some books. So let's. How many? How many enchants have I got here? There's two plus four. That's six plus another seven. So let's make eight books. And then for we need 24 pieces of paper, which we're going to get easily enough. Just break those up. Just make sure my magnet's on, and it'll pick everything up. Don't have to mess around. What have I got now? 2014. Probably about enough. Yes, perfect. 24. Let's quickly turn these into paper, and then we can turn these into a books like that so we have eight books there are actually I have got some other enchants in here of things which are quite good so for example if I want to put it on helmets or whatever we've got a frost walker one in here we've got unbreaking one we've got an aqua infinity we've got a protection two uh, weapons I have actually got two golden swords and I haven't got very much XP I've only got eight <laughs> so what we could actually do is take some experience droplets in fact, I haven't shown you how we get those experience droplets. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. I would like actually some more bottles. So just take some glass out of it. So what have we got in terms of 21? So let's just make up the rest of these in terms of bottles. I should get 63. 60. Okay. And then we can turn these to in bottles of enchanting like this. So we get 60 uh, bottles of enchanting. In fact, the other ones I could also make up in some more glass, but we'll do that another time. Now, by now, this pressure should have increased a bit. Let's just jump over here. The jump is amazing at the moment, <laughs> as you can see. Now, you'll see this is now these are now rotating, and this should be getting a pressure, and it has. It's got minus 0.21 bar, and you can see it on here. It's probably not enough to do the things we want to do just yet, but we'll try it. So let's, for example, get rid of these here. It's got some good ones on it. It's got Curse of Vanishing, which is horrible. Um, so I'm going to put in just two books to start with. I'm not sure that they're... Oh, they will do good. 
So we'll put the rod in next. And you'll see that the books are in the, in the chamber. And then the rod should also come into the chamber once it's got enough pressure in here. Actually, it's already in. So that will then disenchant when it's enough pressure. Let's have a look how much pressure we do need. So we need to go down to almost minus one bar. So that's going to take a while. Now, what I could do in the meantime is to put a second pressure chamber on here, which I think I might do, or I will put in a speed upgrade. Um, let's have a look. Have a look on here. So you can see that the vol the air here hasn't go isn't going down or up. So we do need to make sure we get some speed into this. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second with a speed upgrade. We'll see if that makes a difference to this. So I'm back with some speed upgrades. Let's just put in two of those and see how that actually makes it go. That should go down a lot faster and this should start to increase as you can see. So now the pressure is increasing and we want to get up to about five bar. Or thereabouts and then that will increase that'll make this pressure down here low so look how we're doing there we go it's already done so while that's doing that let's put in some more um let's see what we've got out of here we've got one book of mending fantastic actually one of the probably the best one to get and let's put in another book in fact we can actually put in multiple books of course this time we got the bow back so we got the curse the bow, actually the bow did take quite a long time to come back in again you've got to put it in multiple times and I think the last one to go off this will be the curse of the curse of vanishing so while that's doing that we'll also take another bow out of here have a look at the pressure in here 3.5 bar which is fun, which is great and here we have minus 0.5 bar Basically, this is it. There's not much more we can do in here. Um, I just have to wait for this pressure to increase. It's not going fast enough. Let's shove some more in here. Check it out. Make sure that we don't go too fast, which we ha which we are doing. <laughs> Take the fuel out of here. Actually, we'll bring this down to two now. Maybe even three. So that should get rid of these fairly quickly if it happens. I'm not sure what's wrong. Oh, we've not got enough pressure in here. What's it doing? It's going down reasonably reasonably quickly. It's a 0.5 bar. It uses pressure, of course, every time it does its little transaction, so to speak. This is actually build, building up. Now, what we can actually do to make this work more efficiently, um, I think three is probably too, too many. Let's put in two. What we can do to we could use a high pressure com, um, chamber here instead of or an advanced air compressor here instead of doing a I keep calling them chambers but I mean the air compressor and then use a regulator just before you get to this because this the vacuum pump can only actually accept up to five bar here and you think above that and it'll start to blow up so we're not going to get anywhere near five bar as far because it's going to be released off here before it gets a chance to blow this up. So what's happening now? I'm just waiting to see. So any second now it's going to go green actually, and then disenchant what's, what's in here, I hope, anyway. So if you put too many items in, it gets slower. I think it might be minus 0.75 bar before it goes green. So we'll just wait a second more. Oh no, it's a bit more than that, isn't it? There we go, there's one. Well, that's coming out. Let's have a look at this. So what do we get this time? Curse of Vanishing, great. We got rid of that. That's something we can throw away straight away. Don't need that. You can actually press delete on this, by the way, and it'll delete it straight away on the trash can. So we've now got alert and unbreaking three bow which is actually not a bad bow to have an amending book and we should get some more coming out of it any second now as the pressure goes down there you see it drops down as soon as this one fire releases it it drops down There we go. So that's it. And that's in terms of 
disenchanting this is it we've got how to do it so next thing is how to enchant um, mystical agriculture tools and weapons so let's go over here I've got up here is my enchanting area so let's just turn on the the jet boots and fly up here to the platform where we've got the uh, enchanting table which is here what I should also do up here of course is to, <laughs> is to make a um, an anvil so we can put the enchants on that we get now if I now take this sword actually it's in my offhand isn't it if I take this sword here and put this into the enchanting table nothing happens it doesn't enable anything at all in fact if I put in the golden sword in here you can see you get different things so sharpness would be a nice one to get so that's given to give me a sharpness um, I think that I might have some that's a fun it's a fast way to go up isn't it I might have some lapis in here I do good let's take out I haven't got very much XP just take out six pieces of lapis seven pieces will do I think and there's a few mobs over here we can quickly grind and get their XP the reason let's turn off the jetpack as well as you can see there's no like that and pick up the, the, the drops and then let's turn on that jetpack again and fly back to base I think it's this way Lots of bearings, well, just this way, in fact. <laughs> what did I do that for? Because I wanted to enchant these, didn't I? Um, right, <laughs> that was a mistake. I want to show you what happens when we do enchant these. It doesn't take a second to get back. The aerial interface is keeping the jet boots pumped up with air anyway. The only thing you do have to do with the aerial interface is to um, load the chunks on it and we haven't done that yet okay let's turn this off just jump into place here like this so now we can enchant these guys so what's it saying should be sharpness two for one lapis we'll do oh i actually did pick up all of those don't ask me why so we can get this one or this one um I think we'll go for the second one just in case probably oh no it only gives us sharpness two ha oh, never mind let's stand the second sword here we may not want through another sharpness two all right so we'll just get some xp now of course by throwing these down so we need eight just hold the button down but i'll throw all of them down just so we get there Of course, I could put them on the. Uh, there, I think I'll have them on this though. So, right, I want this one, and I would like to have. Mainly, the arthropods not back to. I think sharpness two is the one we want. So. Sharpness two. So that gives us two sharpness twos. Um, nothing else to pick up down here. Oh, um, that way, isn't it? So we can simply jump. I think I'm going the right way. Yes. We can jump or we can. F no, I'm not. <laughs> it's over this way. God, why do I get lost all the time? Got a dreadful sense of direction when it comes to Minecraft. There we are. Let's just jump our way down. We've got the, the boots on. It doesn't hurt at all, so we're fine. We go this fast way as it happens. We can just jump it. <laughs> like that. Right, so now we've got these two. And it's probably cheapest to actually use the anvil to get in terms of XP. So, so we can take these two swords. Eh, maybe not actually. Let's leave them as they are. Um, I'm gonna get have to get rid of some of this junk I've got with me though. So 
So what do I have? I have an um, amending book, which we don't need, but I have got an unbreaking book, which we also don't need for um, Supremium Swords, because they just don't break. I need to go and get these disenchanted, these other two items. So I'll put the, a sword in here, and we'll put in a book. It's only got one enchant on it, so that's fine. And of course, pressure and heal will be nice and high as we were away. It's, it's 0.9 bar, minus 0.9 bar. I'll put the second one in and we'll put in another book. Like that. They should be taken in. So what have we got here? A sharpness 2 book. Fantastic. And then we get the sword, the golden swords back, which we can then re-enchant. Sharpness 2 and useless fishing rod which we'd have actually no useful so I'll throw it away like that is now this should in fact have a signal on here it should be emitting can't see it should say it's emitting yes it's emitting 15 so this should then be should be turned off yes you've got disabled a warning here which means it's been disabled it's turned off so I said you can't, I've shown you can't actually enchant these swords, but you can use an anvil. So for example, here we've got a Supremium sword and we can put in, uh, we could put in mending, but I don't think mending will actually work. No, it doesn't good. And breaking should also not work good, but uh, sharpness two does work. And you'll see that this has now got a 25.5 attack damage. And this one here has got a 24 so it's gone up one and a half so it's only an enchantment cost of two the other way to do this of course is like this we'll get an enchantment cost of three gives us sharpness three put this back again and this time we get a 26 attack damage so it's gone up by two <laughs> so it comes really a pretty awesome sword now i can go and repeat that again with these, these um here and see how we get on um obviously i'll do that in my, my own time it's night time we could go and we don't need to test it out there's some mobs over there we can just go and give them a hard time yeah missed we oh, dropped mining i haven't seen that for a while See, very effective. Mm, haven't got anything to pick that up with, but I don't really need it. Now, I did say I was going to show you an enhanced version of this program. Um, there's some bits and pieces, yes. Let's get rid of it. Don't need these bits in here. This is a weight piece. What you can also do here is you can add a second area to to basically show the whole thing. So let's just right click on this one and preview the area. Now we should be able to see it. I ah, it's only showing this one. In fact, that's incorrect. I thought it was not working properly. Let's have a look at this. this is the one that here we should also. This is being previewed. But you can't see it uh, you should be able to see it actually we should be able to see the t-shape here so you're allowed to combine those so you can see multiple areas so that deals with that so that reduces the requirements of parts by one I can also get rid of these because obviously if the only thing in your item in inventory is that it's the only thing it's going to, going to be able to place I said that before and then we can return everything to here now the one thing that happens that we see every time is um, I, I see I've got a weight here the, the idea of the weight was I don't need it actually it, it's just a delay so you can you can then basically put it in somewhere in the program so if it's going wrong you, you've got time to watch what's going on so here we had all sides here in Mr. Redstone now this I've added in because it's basically it doesn't turn off once you've set it here it didn't turn off through the program so you, we have to reset it so as soon as this goes here and it is activated then we'll deactivate the redstone and then here we've got another condition a conditional block so it says if at this position here let's have a look at this 
preview the area as well. I don't understand this. I think there's something wrong with area previewing. It should be this block here. And that's the area that should be. In fact, let's just prove it. I've got I've got the GPS tool here. Let's right click that. And you'll see that that's now being previewed. I've, so let's come along here and have a look at this. So this area here is 143.69. And that's the same as this 148. 148. So that's the right block. So it says if there's a no sticky piston here, then we shall go to. Um, if there's more than one, then we can go and build the wither because I don't want it to run until we can actually close the door. So we need the piston there or open the door as it happens. And then if it's false, so if there's less than one, and if it's this condition you can't do very much, you can check for air, you can check for liquids, and you can do any block or you can do all blocks. I, since it's only a one position, it's only ever going to have one. So that's the correct thing so if it's false then it's going to go hit place piston so here I go and I said the way I did this I wasn't sure if, if it was going to work or not so let's have a quick look whoops try again I that position is here or this air block that's just above this one here so the drone comes here and sees whether it's not and then if it doesn't then it, it right clicks the piston into this position or shift right clicks it I think maybe right clicks it I'm not sure so it checks here then it uh, it gets one that's right it gets one from the um, from the chest it goes to this position where I was just now and then it does that it places it and this time I haven't used um, any piston pieces in here. then it you go oh, I'm doing this all each time to make sure that I export this to the inventory to make sure it's clear and then we're going back to this position so so let's go and test this now I have got with me some bits and pieces to make up some. Um, I should have quite a lot. Where have they gone to? Oh, I know what I did with them. I right click them off into here. So I just built some weather skeleton skulls. I've got a reasonable amount. I took them from the other farm. We've got 95. Let's just put one back because it's a bug. Like that, and I'll make I'll make up the skulls and back in a second. The last part of this video is to have a look at the program. Oh, I've got my magnet on again, just turn it off. I don't want everything being picked up. Um, I would like to look at this program. I made one simplification and I've added a feature. So the simplification I made is this one here. I thought you can combine the two areas. So this one here is the block. This is we're placing the soul sand. So this is the foot and then here are the arms so to speak so this is 165 146 which is the middle one and this is the um, 66 one block above it and it's 45 to 147 which is the row um, and then it comes back and drops anything off as we did it before and then it puts the heads down and this side what I've done here is I've changed this to check the piston so there's a new block in here called um, a conditional and it's checking for blocks it doesn't have much flexibility this one you can't say how many you're checking for but you can just check for one or more blocks and of all blocks you can also check for air and liquids and you can pre preview the area let's preview the area of this one and it should be up here and I it's actually it should be this piston here so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this piston like this Oh, yes, there you can see it now. It's actually previewing the area. So it's checking for whether this piston exists. So if it does exist, then it goes and builds with her, which is back over here. If it doesn't exist, then it places a piston down. So it hasn't got one now. So it goes and gets a sticky piston from the chest. I don't check whether there is a sticky piston in the chest. It doesn't seem to matter very much. And then I'm going to a location here. And this location I'm going to in this case, let's have a look at. Can I preview this one? Yes, I have. But it doesn't actually work quite like that. So this is the position. Um, tell you what, let's see if we can preview it twice. And that should be here. Yes, it is here. Good. 
that it's standing here and it's going to place a piston it's going to place the piston in this air block here I right click it in so then it should extend because this is a high position at the moment and then stick to the glass that's in the intention it does work it does work in that rotation and then it basically goes back dumps if it dumps everything off in the in the chest and this time it turns off the the redstone signal it comes over here to this position where it is and turns off the redstone signal so let's see if that works shall we so now it's going to did I not put a oh, it's not going to work <laughs> because I haven't put a sticky piston in this chest let's just put one in the chest like that this time it's got a sticky piston so it keeps going around trying to test that and it puts it down as you can see so now it should come over here and turn off and on the signal over here like this so now it turns it off and it closes the door up and that would have been the end of the cycle so that should be safer now to do to test with or with her. Now I'll quickly go and build some bits and we'll test it. Right I've got all the bits in the in the chest so I've also done a quick backup. But you never know when the weather goes wrong it goes wrong and it'll destroy most of the stuff you've got. So I'll remove the, the piston again and we'll give it a test and see how it works this time. So it put back the piston it should come along here now and activate the thing. Uh, the piston we need the piston to be activated I think ah yes this is where it's going to have a problem it's got a problem here because it cannot and it's teleporting into the into here it cannot place the pistons not open in fact one way we could do that is to put down a lever here or maybe a redstone signal and just cheat it a bit because it should have extended that now it's open as it, sh as it should be <laughs> so we can actually safely do this again now Let's wait for it to do its business this time it should place the middle head it can't place any of those now it should come back over here and place the middle head and then form because the piston's in the right place like that puts those back again hopefully the wither doesn't go just in that time and the door closes just in time stand out of the way bang and now the collector drone goes and picks up the uh, picks up should pick up both bits actually and we'll just uh, bash it with the sword one thing i don't want to do <laughs> is let the wither out very important uh we can test that again just to be absolutely sure it's going to work because it doesn't always <laughs> I will be honest with you so let's now put the piston down and it should should have oh yeah that's right now that it's done it correctly and it has opened the door so it should work correctly this time I don't know why it didn't last time as it happens never mind We have to come over somewhere. I'm probably going too far for that second move as it happens. We don't need to do that. We could also put some speed upgrades into this. I'm not sure where it's going down. There. He flies down the bottom, does he? Close the door. Right, fantastic. Get out of the way a little bit till he forms. Take the bang. <laughs> I've also had to put in um, life upgrades into the drones, by the way. The reason for that. The reason for that is that they actually take damage when they're getting um i'm not sure if this one has no they're all that yes they're all okay so the door one should also get a life upgrade in it because they do get damaged by the wither exploding like this as you can see nine he hasn't got full health this one i'm not sure whether it's got life upgrade or not anyway that's it for this episode a little bit loud for the outro but as you can see i'm here by the disenchanting area so i wish you all the best and until next time bye for now <laughs>